Telomeres. Most times these DNA ends don't do much, but in space they act pretty weird. When astronauts are in space, they lengthen. And this is crazy because it's thought that the longer your telomeres, the more youthful you are. Sadly, when back on Earth, astronaut telomeres shorten. So if space travel were the fountain of youth, it would only be short-lived. What's more, longer telomeres can also be linked to cancer. Next up, stem cells. They can shape-shift into the different cell types. They also start off with extra-long telomeres. Now comes my experiment. It would detect that astronauts made more stem cells in space with fewer ones back on Earth. If this proved true, it would mean that astronauts would have more cells with longer telomeres in space and fewer cells with longer telomeres on Earth, resolving my big question. To add on, this process might be driven by cosmic rays damaging cells. Now, mountain peaks also have high radiation levels, but these can't compare to space with levels 30 times that. Further, given space and all its unknown effects to be considered, my experiment couldn't be reliably conducted on Earth. With all things said, my experiment could impact what we know about space, healing, aging, cancer, and human adaptability as the world prepares for commercial spaceflight and Mars missions.